All right, we're here at Atomic Athlete. I'm here with uh, Team Kennedy. Walk in the walk, that's what this is about. He invited me to come train with him. I'm here, I found him here. So uh, no yap yap, just getting it done. But one quick question I want to ask him about ownership. In our uh, interview before, I didn't realize he was a fireman. Um, before, your dad was a, a policeman, is that right? Yep. And you were going into law enforcement school? I was, yeah. All right, so. Well, you couldn't go to the academy until you're 21, but you could be a firefighter. Yeah. You can't drink either. Yeah. You can come to England for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, how did you get into the fire service? Yeah, I, I knew I wanted to help people, you know, and I didn't, I didn't know the best way of doing that. You know, I, I, I knew like, I knew what evil was. I, I'd seen what horrible things people can do to each other. Um, and, I, and I wanted to help. And as a 17 year old, you know, there's not a lot of options. You can be a lifeguard. So I became a, became an EMT. Then I went, became a firefighter and then started working for the Cascadero Fire Department. And then I started working for the Cal California Department of Fire Forestry. And, uh, you know, just doing whatever I could to get better at what I thought the job was going to be. Then when I turned 21, off to the police academy. And uh, the rest is just a slippery slope of trying to find bad guys. All right, so I'm not going to take you. Your wife's dropped in today, so she's here as well. So one very quick thing. I love the sheepdog philosophy. You had Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman on here. Um, a whole bunch of guys that quote that. So very, very quickly in a short sentence, to the policeman and the fireman, what is the sheepdog philosophy? Is you have to be prepared to fight the wolf. Like you, you are the last thing that's going to stop evil from hurting everybody behind us. And what we are, and the condition that we pre prepare our bodies, is the only thing that's going to stop them. It's not. It's not what we're going to do then and there. It's all the little decisions leading up to that. The time that you spend in the gym, the time you spend on the range, the time that you work on putting on a tourniquet, the time that you work on reloading. All those little things are going to dictate if you win or lose in that moment when you're fighting a wolf. And I promise you, I have seen evil firsthand. The things that we can do to each other, you have to prepare for. All right, brilliant. Well, he's just crushed my soul. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go, Tim Kennedy, in the flesh.